Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, we're gonna say goodbye to weed, especially in your walkway, in your garden where you're walking and stuff like that, guys. You guys do not want to use any kind of chemical or dangerous spray in your garden, or you don't want to keep pulling out weed over and over. So this way, guys, is really, really easy. So this is uh, the weed barrier fabric. Quality is so high, it still holds up really strong after a year. So I'm gonna show you guys behind here this is the side of my greenhouse how awful it is when i use a cheaper one and i'm going to show you guys real quick how to install this all you need is some staples uh i got a hammer and a scissors i did ran out before so you could see i used a cheaper one but you could see weeds are coming out and i stop right here so i'm just gonna put put a piece from there uh and stop it a lot you know i'll bring it over maybe four or five inches over all right guys, so sorry about the camera angle. I just uh, wanted to make sure you guys are seeing. So, with this thing guys, when you open it up, you have uh, the side that's gonna go down on the ground. There's no light, it's like more like uh, sticky on this side, I guess. And on this side, you guys can see it's more bright and you have your lines, which is gonna, those lines are gonna guide you with a lot of stuff. Like what I do basically guys, I'll just put it down uh, bring it over uh, five inches over and basically um, I normally set up from this the front side first and I'll show you guys I normally put something heavy uh, either an extra hammer or something to just hold that down I don't really staple yet until I make sure and I'm really happy how it looks and where it ends so you kind of like roll it out guys. So if you guys see right here, I just put a hammer right now to hold it down. And I came over uh, about five, six inches over the other one. And basically, as you guys see, you could use something heavy just to hold that down so it doesn't come. And then as you're rolling out, you do want to make sure you're lined up straight wherever you're putting it. And then guys, what I'll do, I'll put a, well, I'm just going to show you. I'll put a couple, like two, two or three staples on the top so it doesn't blow. So these guys are uh, a cheaper staple. Uh, if you want to get your hands on these uh, staples, a better staple, or even the weed berry guys, check the link in the description. Uh, so basically, guys, you want to put it to lock and you just like, all right, you're just going to pop it in your hands these staples are a cheaper one i would not recommend you guys to get this one uh the other one that i used first was way better and you just take your hammer and you gently uh hit it down and as you can see right there it's pretty good holds pretty good so i would put one here one in the middle and one over to the under the other end put it on both of them so basically what you could do, I'm just doing it with one hand right now. As I said though, this one is kind of cheesy. I literally bend with my hand. It's cheaper, and but I wouldn't recommend this one. You could always take your feet and just pull it back a little bit like this. Keep it stiff like that. And then come down and um, at least just put one in the middle to hold it down and then you want to make sure guys every time you pull it stiff keep it stiff as possible you can pull it with one hand and then just pop your staple right there so it doesn't move and you come back to this side pull it again and then same thing you pull it stiff guys you do want to make sure you pull it and average where you're going to cut, I'm coming at least four inches. And then you want to easy guys, clean cut. Try to keep your hands straight or you guys could always have a straight piece of stick and just take a knife, a sheetrock knife or a market or something. But it's really easy to, to go. So make sure. You pull it stiff, put one knee on it if you need to, or you got something heavy, you could put it, pull it back with your one hand, put your staple down, hold it. And just kind of staple it in with both of them. All 
All right, all right guys, so you can see, um, after walking over time, you see right here, I'm gonna end up putting one more staple there. So it holds it down more, but as you can see guys, 10 million times better than um, how it looked before. And if you have weed underneath and you do not want to pull out the weed, it's not a big deal. I did it before, I actually put this over a weed and it kills the weed so you don't have to stress or worry anything. So this is good for your walkway. If you guys want to cut, do your plants, you could always cut a hole, dig down inside and plant a plant, there's no reason. Another thing guys, this line, you know, it kind of guide you for a column so you have different, different rows. Depends where you want to plant. You can plant on both sides and then just walk right through. Alright guys, so if you want to get your hands on this weed barrier, and I'm going to add my other staple. I'm not going to put this one in the link, guys. So check in the link in the description box, guys. Check in the link in the description box. I got everything in there, guys. And thank you guys for watching Green Tea Garden. Don't forget, guys, if you're new, guys, subscribe. Click the bell icon. It's 100% free. Every time I upload a video, guys, you will get it right away. So don't miss out anything from Green Tea Garden.